Hi everyone, it's Jen Sheffer, and I'm here to share with you another update to Nearpod for the 21-22 school year. If we click on create in our Nearpod library and we go to lessons, you will now see when we click on add content and activities, a beta slides option under content. So when we click on this, it's going to open up a slide and you'll notice here on the right, there are quite a few different slide themes that you can choose from. So you can make a change there. And it, this has a very, much, uh, a very much Google Slides look and feel to it. So we have redo and undo buttons. We have our text box feature right here. If we wanna add some text, we can do that. As soon as we click on add text, we have a formatting toolbar that appears. So we can change the order of elements on our slides as we're building these, send to uh, front or bring it to the back. We also have page layout options uh, with either just a title or a title and subtitle, so on and so forth. We have the ability to add a few different shapes. We can add images. We click on add an image. We can search for images from Google or we can upload something from our computer. We also can add a background so we can set a slide background image. So if we do that, again, we're brought to the um, area where we can search for images in Google or upload. We can also set a slide background color. So you'll see here that we have some color options. Um, so if I want to make that say purple, we come back. If I don't like it, oh, and I can also change the um, transparency of that colored background. If I don't like it, I can just simply delete it. Um, same thing with the uh, text box here. I can delete that if needed. If I did that by mistake, I can just undo. So um, as we continue on this toolbar here, one of the things I really like is the ability to add audio directly on the slide in Nearpod. So if I click on this, I can upload audio that I've saved to my computer, but I can just, as I mentioned, record the audio right here. So if I click on that, I'm then going to click allow. You'll see here I have that microphone and I can start recording. I believe we have up to five minutes to record. So right on the slide, and this is something that um, I think is really powerful for you as a teacher. So we're there, um, we can listen back to it by playing the play button. If we like it, we click save. If we need to re-record, we hit delete and we can re-record. Um, we can also add animated GIFs to our presentation slides, which again, create um, some visual interest for our students, maybe get them excited and curious about what they'll be learning. Um, if I click in this white space, or if I just click on the slide again, um, then the remaining tools will appear on the toolbar. I have a font menu that's pretty extensive here. You'll see there's quite a few different font styles to choose from. I can change the size of my font, add some traditional formatting features like bold and italics and underline. I can change the alignment. I can add a bulleted list. I have some math functions as well too. So if I am a math teacher and I wanna add some math functions for uh, calculations and equations and formulas, I can do that here. And then I also have the ability to add a link. So I can link different elements and bring my students to different um, web resources. So again, this is in the content area of Nearpod. If I'm uh, done, I'll hit save and add new. Um, it's going to then allow me to save that slide. And now I'm on a second slide in that presentation. So if I wanna build slides from scratch, I can. I have a lot of great options here. Um, and this is, you know, if you don't have an existing presentation and you wanna start building something, all in one place, you can do that in Nearpod. So the slides and then all the different interactive activities can be added to this. And again, this is why I love Nearpod and I hope you do too. And I know your students will as well. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching.